What's going on guys? Mr. AG here bringing you a live Pokemon Auras battle. This time it's up against Alexi. We actually got disconnected earlier due to Windows 10 being um, kind of not stable. But here's his team right now. I don't know if he's going to leave with the same thing. I'm going to leave with the same thing just to be fair. I'm going to go ahead and lead in with my Bisharp, which is who I had as my lead. You can look at his team. It's really tough. I don't know how we're going to do against it, but we're going to give it a try. So, we're bringing in a different team, teams that we don't use often, so I do fully expect us to go down today, but we're going to give it a try anyway, because it's fun. It's fun. you got to have fun. Um, but here's our team. We've got Lopini, we've got Porygon2, we've got the Bisharp, we've got, oh my goodness, we've got Tangro for once. <laughs> Just a, different, a few different pokes that we haven't used before, but we're going to give it a try. We'll see how it works. Um, yeah, let's find out. Let's find out, shall we? Here we go. So here we are with our Bisharp against this Chinchino. This stupid freaking Chinchino. I say stupid. It's not really stupid. He's just freaking tough. So here comes that Telsap. Definitely going for those flinch hacks right now. Obviously. There's two hits. Here's three hits. Should be four hits, and then a fifth hit coming up. I'm assuming it's got King's Rock, and it's going for Flinch Hex. It's, like, kind of obvious. Hit five times. Um, we're going to Flinch. There's the Flinch Hex. See, I knew the Flinch Hex were happening. We knew it was happening. So, since we know that's what he's going for, we're going straight for the Sucker Punch just to get some damage off see how much damage we get here. Oh, my Lord, we did a decent amount. We did a real decent amount. We can take it out from here. get that water going so he's going for the damage obviously it's not very effective but it does a lot of work right there so let's go ahead and finish off this chinchino assuming he attacks with another sucker punch that'll finish off the chinchino he is going to withdraw i kind of figured he would but i didn't do what i wanted to because i wanted to be safe here comes a venusaur what is venusaur doing in here it's going to fail i don't know about this venusaur we're going to go ahead and do this and find out what this Venusaur is packing here? Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Venusaur super strong, guys. Oh, my gosh. All right. He's going to withdraw Venusaur. So double switch. What's he switching back out to? Togekiss coming in. Okay. So Togekiss is here. We are going to get our substitute off. So that is awesome for us right there. So yay for that. Yay for that. Yay for that. Yay for that. Now, at this point, he's got to make an attack, obviously. So, the question is, do I want to attack him, or what do I want to do here? Uh, ha, 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 Let's take this opportunity, actually. I'm thinking, he's got, he's got to have Fake Out on one of his pokes. We're going to go ahead and go straight for the Sucker Punch damage. He's going to withdraw Toad Kiss. So, the quadruple switch, I guess. Here comes Chinchino again. Coming out. We're going to throw that Sucker Punch. It's going to fail. That's fine. We'll take him out right here and be good to go. 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 Tuchino does roughly about 25% damage. He could switch again if he really wants to, but that's up to him. But we've got the Sucker Punch loaded and ready to go. In fact, he might be listening to us on stream. I don't know. But we're ready to go here. He's got to break that sub. He's going to have to break the sub. So let's see here. He's going to re-withdraw Chinchino. I'm thinking he's listening, but that's fine. We'll just Sucker Punch away because that's what we can do. It's another Sucker Punch. It's going to fail. That's fine. We'll just Sucker Punch again. Oh, my gosh. The Sucker Punches are happening. <laughs> uh, but we're all right. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and run a Swords Dance. Figured might as well. He's not switching out, though. That does tell you something here. So my attack's going to raise sharply. Here comes a Air Slash. Could be going for the flinch. Don't know. But that should be enough to take out the sub. There you go. Sub's gone and out now. So now the question is, what can we do about this guy? We could do this. Let's do this. Here we're going to go ahead and throw our Sucker Punch now. See how much damage that's going to get on the Tokus. It's not going to be much. It shouldn't be. Here comes that Air Slash. Air Slash should finish off my Bite Sharp. And there goes Bite Sharp. So, navigating through all our Sucker Punches worked out for him. And what is this? Leftovers, maybe? Leftovers Togekiss, it looks like. Okay. Leftovers Togekiss, what to do about you, sir? 
Well, obviously, we don't want the leftovers to get too, too, too powerful on us. So let's go ahead and go about this Togekiss by doing... Ha, ha, ha. Decisions, decisions. Let's go ahead and do this. It's probably my best option here. We know he's not Scarf now. So we're going to go ahead and send out Rotom Wash now. Now, he can't paralyze us, obviously, so let's figure out how to handle this Toga Kiss here. I think that's my best option. We're going to go ahead and just rain down a Thunderbolt at this point. So, using this new team, we see some weaknesses to the team already. But, eh, we're good. We're good. So, he's going to withdraw the Toga Kiss. Let's see what's going to come in. It's going to be Venusaur. So, Venusaur is a good choice for him right now. Obviously, Venusaur is going to be able to do quite a bit here. And this isn't going to do that much damage. Wow, that actually did a lot more than I expected. And we get the Paralyzation. That works out perfectly. Alright, so now i got this Venusaur to deal with here. How am I going to deal with him is the question. Ha 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 ha. Well, we're going to go ahead and do this. We're going to get some initiative here. We're going to get that Volt Switch going on. Yay for Volt Switching. And, oh my goodness, that nearly takes him down to half health. Goodness gracious. Now, looking at his team, he might have Black Sludge. No, because if he had Black Sludge, he would have recovered this last turn. So that could be the Mega Venusaur. Could be. I don't know. We'll have to find out here in a second. So with Venusaur in, let's go ahead and send out... Let's send this guy out. This would be a good choice. Um, yeah, that would be a good choice. So here we go. We're going to go ahead and send out Rapunzel, just in case he's trying to put us to sleep or anything. Rapunzel is here. Worry Seed comes in. That's going to take away our ability, which is fine. So we've got Insomnia, which means we're not going to fall asleep, which is okay. We're okay with that. So how to deal with a Venusaur here? Let's go ahead and do this first. Okay, we're going to go ahead and run Knock Off, find out what item he's holding. Oh my gosh, we did a decent amount. Okay, that was a crit, that's why. Here comes that Sludge Bomb. Sludge Bomb is going to hurt. Huh, the damage, the damage is real, and we're poisoned, oh, unfortunate for us. We do get some health back though, thank goodness for that. But as you can see here, Venusaur putting in the work right now against us here. Rapunzel not doing so hot, that's okay. That is okay, so let's see here, let's go ahead and do this then. Is Venusaur putting in the work? Now the question is, is he going to switch out or is he going to stick around? That is the question. We're going to go ahead and run another knockoff. That should come close if not finish off Venusaur. And it does finish off Venusaur. So Venusaur is down and out. We're going to take some poison damage. So I don't know how we're going to do here. I don't know how we're going to do here. Trying out this new team right now has really got us kind of on edge. We've pretty much lost Rapunzel and anybody else he wants to. And he's pretty much got the advantage here. Here comes Lopany. Lopany coming in. A fake out from Lopany will probably finish us off from here. From this point anyways. So, got to figure out how to deal with Lopany here. And you know what? I think sacking off is probably our best option at this point. Which is fine. There's the fake out. That's going to go ahead and cause our Rapunzel not to die. What? Holy crap. Okay, but we got the flinch. So, we should go down to our poison here. And that will allow for us to come in fresh. Should. Should. There we go. Rapunzel goes down and out. So, now we have a fresh option now. So how, who to bring in is the question here. Um, best option could be, yeah, that could be my best option right there. Alright, we're going to go ahead and bring this guy in. Here comes Rotom Wash. Rotom Wash coming in against this Lopany. Now I know some of you guys are thinking, why would I do that? Well, there's a few reasons. There's a few reasons. Here comes a Mega Lopany. We figured it would be Mega Lopany coming in. Question is, what is Megalopony gonna run? Now I'm wondering if he's a set like mine because it looks like what I've been running into is Lopony's with sets pretty much like mine. We're gonna hydro pump this Megalopony. We do survive Megalopony's attack, and Megalopony's gonna survive our attack as well. So unfortunate for us right there. Hmm. We can fully expect a return to happen next here, and I think we're just gonna have to sack off Rotom Wash. I think that that's going to be our only option here. We are just getting smoked right now by this team. And bam, down goes Rotom Wash. Trying out this new team is not really working out in our favor yet, but 
We'll be all right. We'll be all right. We're going to send out our our champ right now. Here comes Ronda Rousey coming in now, ready to get some work in. Ronda Rousey here. I'm fully expecting to see possibly that Salamance, if Salamance is an Intimidate, most likely. Most likely, that's my opinion. That's what we're going to see, but we'll find out. We are going to get this nice and awesome fake out, most likely. We're going to go ahead and actually Mega Evolve. Okay, so we didn't run fake out. We were hoping he was going to switch out, but he didn't switch out. So we didn't get our... So we wasted not using our fake out. Here comes a high jump kick. He's actually going to get his attack off first. That's going to finish us off. And at this point, it's going to be over. There's really nothing we can do against the rest of Alexi's team here. Really isn't. Not at this point. Well, I guess I could have done this a long time ago, but I didn't. We're going to send out Chandelure. Chandelure really doesn't have a chance, but we're going to go ahead and go for it anyways. Might as well here. Not with the rest of our team. We really don't have a chance here. But we're going to go for it anyways. Of course, because we don't give up. We might be able to take out this Lopini. It really just depends here. Now, Lopini does have that ability that makes him hit get ghost types, so that is a problem. That is a problem here. He is going to withdraw Lopini. That's awesome right there. Here comes Chinchino, so he's going to sack off his Chinchino right here. So Psychic should finish off Chinchino, so there we go. Yay for that. Chinchino goes down and out. And... Boink. Done. So here's what we're looking at next. We've got a Lopini. We've got the... We've got a whole bunch of awesomeness here. He's got Salamance coming in next. Now, Salamance is going to drop that Intimidate on us. And we should be fine with that. We're fine with that Intimidate. Now, we are still going to try fighting this. But really, right now, all we can do is really stall out the inevitableness. Which should be us going out of this. Unless he does something really, really wrong. <laughs> That's pretty much the only thing we can hope for at this point. Now, I'm looking at the rest of his team. He's going to Earthquake. I do see one thing I can do which will help us out at this moment. But we've got to hope everything works out. If everything doesn't work out, then it doesn't matter. So we've got Salamance here in front of us. We've got Aflac here right now ready to go against Salamance here. I'm looking at his team build. I'm hoping he switches out to Lopini. If he switches out to Lopini, we've got a chance. Here comes Tokus. Okay, we still have a chance. Tokus coming in. We're going to go ahead and get this Thunder Wave off on the Tokus, which is perfect. That is perfect. Tokus is paralyzed right now. He's going to go ahead and receive some health. He's got leftovers. So we know that Tokus is a leftovers Tokus. That's actually not what we wanted to see, but it did happen. It did happen. Uh, 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 no, 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 no. Um, let's see here. Why don't we go ahead and do this? See, my win card, if you will, isn't really a win card. Not with the way things are working out. I need to check this real quick. Du, 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 du. <laughs> With two pokes left, that is re that really becomes a problem for us. Okay, okay. Du, 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 du. Okay, so at this point, my best option against Toad Kiss is to go ahead and do this. All right. So we're going to go ahead and Thunderbolt Tokus. See how much damage we get off on this Tokus. We get about a quarter health. Not bad. Here comes AT Wave. That's going to slow us down. We kind of figured that would happen. He's going for the Flinch Hacks. That's what we're imagining. Now the good thing is, fortunately for us, we should still be decently fine. Should be. Ha 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 ha. But Tokus should be able to handle us. Should be able to. Honestly, the win card right now for him would be really quick to switch. But... Maybe he doesn't want to risk that. I don't know. Here comes that Air Slash. Going for the flinches like we do. He's going for that Para Flinch. Our Thunderbolt is going to go through, though. And... Oh, not enough to take out the Tokus. So close. So close. Just not enough. Dang it. So now, obviously, he's going to go for the Para Flinch hacks. Which he has a, basically a 60% chance to get on us. Plus a 25% of Paralyzation if the 65 doesn't go through. In this case, the 25% goes through rather than the 60. Hmm. What to do here? Can we do anything about the Toe Kiss here real quick? Here comes another Air Slash from the Toe Kiss. Doing massive amounts of damage. We do get our Recover off, so not even bad right there. Recover healing us up to 151. His Toe Kiss is still hanging around, obviously. Hanging around. Get it? 
All right, so, hmm. His win card is his Lopening, okay? He changes into his Lopening. He's actually in a really good spot. He's going to go ahead and Air Slash us. That's going to be like a crit hit, it looks like. We're paralyzed. That paralysis happens for us. That's unfortunate, but that's the way it works. Huh. Du -du 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 -du. The really, the only chance we have is to recover here. We have to break through the Air Slash and the Paralysis, recover, and then go ahead and take out this tokens. That's our only chance. If we don't do that, it's done and over with. And honestly, with the way it's looking, I think it's going to be done and over with. But we're going to give it a try, obviously. We don't give up. Here comes that Air Slash. Air Slash might be able to finish us off here. We do get the Recover off. Oh my god. The Recover working out again for us. But that Toe Kiss with that health coming back. Oh my goodness, the health. The health, folks, the health. Alright, so we do have two options here we can do. Toe Kiss finally paralyzed. The Parahax for Toe Kiss. And we do get the Recover off, so we're back up to full health. So that's nice for us. That's really nice for us. Now, Togekiss is going to run Air Slash. There's no if, ands, or buts about it. So we're going to do this right now. It's our best option here. We know Togekiss is going to go ahead and attack. That's a duh. That's a given. So let's switch out now. We fully expect that Air Slash to come through. Show me Air Slash. There's the Air Slash, okay? It's going to do a decent chunk of damage right there. So now our hope is that he's paralyzed and we do enough damage to take out the Togekiss here. Let's see here. What's our best option? Our best option is going to be... Oh my goodness, I hate this being an option, but it's my, our best option. We have to Heat Wave. Here comes our Heat Wave. Let's see how much damage it's going to do against this Togekiss here. And... Oh, so close! No! We avoid the attack! You're kidding me! Yes! The avoid really helping out right now. I actually really don't want to knock out this Togekiss. I don't. I don't want to. But we kind of have to. <laughs> but we kind of have to. So let's see here. This Togekiss. Alright, we're going to get our Heat Wave off. That is going to finish off the Togekiss. Togekiss done and out. Now, really, Togekiss done and out. He's going to send out Gengar. Why is he going to send out Gengar? Um, Gengar. I guess Gengar has his... his positive reasoning here right now. He could, of course, Shadow Sneak against us and finish us off there. We're going to switch out to Aflac because he gives us our best option. If he has um, Aura Sphere or something like that, then it's, it's GG. We're down. There we go. Making that switch. That worked out for us. Let's see if this will help us out here right now. He's going to withdraw Gengar. Is he bringing in Lopany? Salamance comes in. Okay, so Salamance is going to come in with the Intimidate drop on us, that's fine. We're okay with that. We're going to get this Thunder Wave off on him. So there's that T-Wave off on the Salamance. Get that Paralysis here. Now what to do here? What to do here now? Let's go ahead and do this. We're going to try to do a prediction here right now. Salamance is paralyzed. Dag nab it. Alright, we went for another Thunder Wave to paralyze, but obviously it doesn't connect. So now we got to deal with this Salamence. Salamence is going to be faster than us. He's going for the Dragon Claw. Dragon Claw is going to hit for a small amount of damage. Not going to be like an incredible number. We're going to Ice Beam away on the Salamence. And oh my gosh, we nearly one-shot the Salamence. What is that? Focus Sash? It is Focus Sash. Okay. So Focus Sash Salamence. We're going to go ahead and do this next right now. Dragon Clawing again. So he's kind of just, looks like he's kind of just waiting to take us out right now. We're going to Thunder Wave. He's paralyzed. That's fine. All right, so we're going to recover right now. Salamance is paralyzed. It would have been a clean attack. Oh, we're paralyzed. No, the paralysis is happening. Okay, okay. So that happened. Here comes a Dragon Claw again. Hopefully we're not paralyzed again. If we're not paralyzed again, we're good to go. We're paralyzed again. No. Alright, is he going to get a third paralysis? If he gets a third paralysis, we're kind of just screwed. Oh my gosh, here comes the Dragon Call. That would be a lame way to end, but it would be understandable. We're paralyzed again! No! Alright, now with that third paralysis, that should be, should be GG. Oh my goodness. 
And the reason why this is going to be GG is because I can't take another Dragon Claw. If I could take another Dragon Claw, we'd be good to go. Uh, but with the way it is right now, okay, I would have to get really lucky here right now. We're going to give it a try. We're going to give it a try. We're going to switch out to Chandelure. Chandelure is going to come in. Salamence is paralyzed. <gasps> what it just happened? All right, so we're going to go ahead and heat wave this guy. That's going to finish off the Salamence. Salamence is done and out. Now, we should still go down and lose to this team. So Salamence goes down and out. Honestly, all he had to do was send out his Lopany, and Lopany should sweep the team, but he hasn't sent it yet. Here comes Lopany finally now. Lopany should be able to sweep the team. With a fake out, fake out should do enough damage to kill us here, I believe. Um, let me see here. Fake out causes us to flinch, and obviously he can hit us with that. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. If I go to Aflac, Aflac will die to that. That should be GG. It should be GG. I'm trying to think here. Hmm. Is Aflac my best option or is it Chandelure? Alright, just because I don't know the speed ratio, I'm going to do this. We're going to switch Chandelure out. And this could be just the game, but it's kind of just the way we have to do it. Here we go. We're going to go ahead and bring out Aff. Like, we're going to trace Scrappy. Not that it matters right now to us. And here goes that fake out. That should finish off Affleck. Affleck does go down to that. And Affleck is gone. Oh, no. <laughs> now we're going to send out Chandler. And the reason why we did that was for this reason. So we can at least get an attack off here. So here we go. Let's see how well we do. Or we're going to try for it. Oh, Lopany's going to use return. So Lopany's speed is still faster than Chandler. And that's going to be the game right there. It was a good game here with Alexi Powell here, guys. Let me know what you thought about it in the comment section, guys. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this battle. All right, until next time, see ya.